Today we are continuing our Futures Thinking 101 series and taking a look at a tool called Backcasting. Now, Backcasting is a strategic planning tool and it's used to envision the future goal and then work backwards to determine the necessary steps to reach it. Now, unlike forecasting, which predicts future outcomes based on current trends, backcasting focuses on creating a path to a preferred future. Now, backcasting allows for more open dialogue about potential futures and encourages stakeholders to think creatively about their solutions. It's particularly beneficial when dealing with complex issues that require transformative change rather than small adjustments. The process begins by clearly defining the future state you wish to achieve, which could be a specific vision or goal. Next, developing scenarios that explore different ways that this future state could be reached, considering key drivers and uncertainties. Identifying the steps needed to achieve the desired future based on those scenarios. And then finally, creating and executing a plan that outlines the best pathway to reach that desired future state. And if we dig in with a little bit more detail, we go from four to seven steps. Uh, let's have a look at step two. Uh, you can use an approach such as PESL, political, economic, societal, technological, legislative and environmental factors and to review and ensure that you capture the differences in each of these categories. And on step four, you identify the changes that you are able to control and those which you cannot control. You can then score those events or changes. Uh, one, two or three. Number one is for this event is entirely in our control. Number two, this event is partially in our control. And number three, this event is entirely outside of our control. And then for each one of those events or changes, you can look at who wins and who loses and the pros and cons of each. And the rest of the process is about the same as before. So scenario development involves exploring various routes to reach that desired future and examining different technological and social economic context. Now this, step, this step helps in understanding the feasibility of each pathway and its implications. Once those scenarios are developed, next step is to identify specific actions needed to move from the present state to that desired future state. So this will involve evaluating potential barriers and opportunities for each of those pathways. And this helps to prioritize actions that are both impactful and feasible. So backcasting offers a structured framework for planning long-term goals. It encourages collaboration among stakeholders and helps to align them towards common objectives. And it also supports sustainable decision-making by ensuring the actions taken today contribute positively towards achieving desired futures. In conclusion, backcasting is a valuable tool for organizations that are seeking to navigate uncertain futures by focusing on proactive planning rather than reactive responses. In that case, it's similar to many of the other futures and foresight tools that we've looked at. And it empowers stakeholders to collaboratively shape their desired futures through informed decision making. So a short video for a tool that can be used simply or with a deep dive into desired futures and the steps needed to take. If you have any questions about backcasting, leave me a comment or contact me directly. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.